Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Sage and I am a community health worker and artist. Hello, my dear subjects. This is your queen, Jasmine Rice LaBeja from the Hill House of LaBeja here in New York City. Hey y'all, what's up? This is Felix. I'm a makeup artist, a barroom legend. Uh, and I was introduced to uh, PrEP through a sexual partner of mine here in New York City. So how did you guys find out about PrEP? When it comes to PrEP, I actually learned about it through my job and through the work that I do. I've been doing community work for a little while now. And I remember when PrEP first came out, the pharmaceutical company that um, administers PrEP and, and things like that were giving community healthcare workers free lunches. Yeah. And I was just like, food, what? I'm in there. Over salad, grilled cheese, and tomato soup, I learned <laughs> basically um, where, you know, how PrEP is administered, how important it is. See, I was introduced to PrEP uh, through a friend who's HIV positive, and he's a very active worker in the community. And when he first messaged me and sent me the pamphlet and the article about it, I almost didn't believe it because it was really early on and people were not talking about it. And I went to my primary um, doctor, and when I asked him about PrEP, they didn't even know what that was. They were like, what is that? I know about PEP, but I don't know what PrEP is. So I actually didn't get on PrEP for, I think, about a year and a half because in my mind, I was like, if my primary care doctor doesn't even know about it, like this is too good to be true. Like how is it not on every single newspaper, every single news outlet? And I feel like this is a miracle drug, honestly. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hit the jackpot. Let's give it. I'm gonna take a pill and just go ham. But you know, it was just, it was just so surprising. And I'm, I'm very, very thankful for now to be part of this conversation because I was in that predicament where someone just didn't know about PrEP. I would say that telling a provider or talking to a provider about sex that knows exactly where you're coming from, I know that my health care totally changed once I got a gay doctor. Like Absolutely. Once I found a doctor that knew exactly where I was coming from, the time I sat down in front of my doctor that I have right now, and he was like, so you top, you bottom? Like I was just like, oh, yo, that was the first before. time a doctor ever asked me that. And I was just like, the difference in, in the conversations that we have totally, totally impact on how how I utilize healthcare now. Absolutely. I definitely, uh, I've had the same primary care doctor since I actually got on PrEP. And it's a funny story because uh, my partner ended up taking me to his doctor. Uh -huh. um, and she, uh, she, pretty much she was the one who um, ended up, I actually like even like changed my insurance plan and everything to be able to like be with her. And she's very, you know, gay friendly. She's a lesbian, like I live for her. Her brother was gay and like, it's, you know, it's over, so. Ooh, is her brother single? Damn. <laughs> Even like if I have conversation with friends, there are friends who don't tell their doctor about everything that they do. I was like, you're actually gambling with your life if you are not honest with your doctor. I was very honest with my doctor. I was like, I do this, I do this, and my doctor's just like mouth open, what you do what, <laughs> kind of a thing. Hmm. But you have to let your doctors know so they have the information and all the knowledge how to treat you. Granted, I changed my doctor after he said that he didn't know about PrEP. I was like, oh, you're not. That's right. Baby, I need to go find myself a sister that I could have an open dialogue with and who's not having the shock of their life. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, this is of my daily life for you. I don't know why you gagging. I give it to you every single time, you know? So I do think that having a common ground with your doctor and being able to have an open conversation with your doctor and finding a right provider is very important as well. For me, I come from a very small... Um, town in Florida so literally like the doctors like people were freaking oblivious to like what prep was right. so moving to New York uh when I, mo I moved here actually in 2016 and the first like gorgeous man that I met uh he ended up being like a partner of mine uh he was positive so he was the one who kind of wow. uh educated me in the matter uh and eventually you know got me on prep and stuff like that uh, and I'm so thankful because there was so much stigma even within myself um, and I was so uneducated that I just didn't understand. I think what PEP has lent itself to in this day and age is more honest conversations about 
about sex. Absolutely. It's just like, okay, well, look, this is what's happening. This is what's up. This is what I'm on. It does come with its little, um, you know, side stigmas, depending on who you ask or what people's different experiences. But definitely there's, there's, there's an authenticness that comes with like, look, this is what's up. I'm on prep. Honesty is sexy, honey. Wow, we talked about a lot of stuff today. I learned a lot, and I hope you did too. If you want to keep the conversation going, check out the link associated with this video.